Hi, I'm Sandy Johnson, Director of Communications for the Town of Medway. Today I'm here with Matt Salmon, CEO of Salmon Health and Retirement. Um, your family is getting ready to open its newest location here in Medway called The Willows in Whitney Place at Medway. Welcome. Thank Welcome you for having Medway. me. We're glad to be here. I was wondering if you could just tell us and share with us a little bit about your family's mission and the Salmon family values. Sure. Our company was started by my grandparents, who were both nurses, in 1952. They converted the Adora restaurant in Northborough to a small nursing home where my, my grandparents and my father and his four brothers lived in the same building where they cared for the residents. In 1959, they actually sold that nursing home and bought what is now known as Beaumont in Northbridge. And so we've been operating there continuously. The interesting thing about our family is that when they moved to Northbridge, that my grandparents lived in an apartment in the basement, which is now the employee break room, and my father and his four brothers lived in the attic. When my grandparents retired from um, the, you know, the daily operations of the, the nursing home, um, they did that right around the time my parents got married. So when my parents came back from their honeymoon, they moved right into the apartment in the basement and continued that tradition of actually living in the building that they, they worked in, in caring for the residents. So my grandmother is the one I think you really instilled the, the culture and the fabric of, of who we are. And she um, was always a presence in, in, in the communities in our buildings. She was a resident at uh, the Willows at, at Westboro until she passed a, a few years ago. And I think what we learned from her is that you just, it's not hard. You just, you know, roll your sleeves up. It's easiest thing to wash is your hands, she would say. And you just treat the people you care for like they're your family. And I think that's the philosophy that, that really has stuck with the, now the third generation in our, in our family business, that it really is what drives our mission. It's just caring for people like they were, they were your own family. Hmm. Can you tell us why you decided to build the next community in Medway? Yes. So the um, Medway was a, provided a great opportunity for us for a number of reasons. Okay. Mm -hmm. and, and again, obviously, when you're going to make a business decision as large as we just made in, in Medway, the research in the, in the um, you know, when we start looking at the market studies and the surveys, Medway was, a, was a, a great location. In addition to that, we were already a strong presence in, in Medway with the, our VNA and hospice. So we, we have a, a, the Salmon VNA Hospice, which is actually the old Milford VNA, which we per purchased from Mil Milford Hospital several years ago, gave us a strong presence in the community. We, in, in the early days, we were looking at two different pieces of property in Medway that were big enough to, to, to do what we were looking to do. And we really relied on some of the, the, the long time stable VNA staff to help us make the decision on picking Village Street. And so it's been, um, you know, there's a lot of inputs and there's a lot that goes into it, but we operate close to home, you know, that we're not an organization that has a nursing home in Maine or, or a nursing home in Pennsylvania or California, that all of our locations are within a 30 or 40 minute drive. And that allows us to have a little bit better um, visibility into what's going on in the, the building. And if there's an issue, we can, we can be there in an hour. Hmm. So for those folks that aren't familiar, so you built this on 57 acres located on Village Street. Um, it's made up of the Willows and Whitney Place. Could you go into a little bit more detail about exactly what the Willows and how that's separate from Whitney Place and then talk to the continuum of care that you offer? Sure. The, the, the concept of what we want to do, and what I, by the way, what I like to say is it's on 57 acres in Medway, situated on the Charles River. And, and the nice thing that we have there is the, a boat ramp, and we'll have public access to the Charles River from that property. The concept of what we were trying to do was build a large retirement community that really pulls in all the aspects of the area. So the Willows is the, the name for our independent living. So we have a, for example, we have a Willows in Worcester and we have a Willows in Westboro. So those are our independent living um, offerings. We have Whitney Place, which is our assisted living. 
and again, we have a Whitney place in Westboro and a Natick in, in, in Northboro, for example. And so we offer two different levels of service. So in independent living, it's your own home, it's your own apartment, wh whichever you choose, that you can lock the door and leave. The, the, the thing that we've experienced in the Willows at Worcester and the Willows in Westboro is we actually have residents that are so independent, they'll lock the door and go to the Cape for the summer. They'll lock the door and go to Florida for the winter, depending on what they're doing. So they, they're really operating at, at a higher level. Whitney Place is our assisted living, where you're going to receive up to two hours of help per day. Mm -hmm. It's not necessarily skilled nursing help, it's assistance. So it's assistance with bathing and dressing, maybe reminders to take your medication, and assistance to getting to and from the dining room or participating in activities. So the Willows at, at, at Medway is going to have 50 apartment style dwellings. So you're gonna have 50 apartments that are independent living. And on the back side of the building facing the Charles River, we're gonna have 17 attached cottages. And what that means is you're gonna have about a 2,100 square foot home that has your own driveway and front entrance. So you have a front door to your own home um, that's a beautifully designed, I think, obviously, in, in uh, decorated apartments that uniquely are attached to the building. So you, the, you, the back door of your home is an interior hallway that, that, that brings you into the main building. So you have access to all of the services and the amenities that we offer while still maintaining that independence of, of having your own home. On the assisted living side, it's studio in, in uh, one bedroom and two bedroom apartments that we, we provide a whole menu of um, recreation and therapy services that, that go in those, you know, for the people who live in those buildings or residences. In addition, we have what we call a tapestry program. So tapestry in our organization is dementia care and dementia programming. So about half of those 50 apartments, or 100 apartments, excuse me, about 50 of those apartments will be dedicated for dementia specific resident care, as well as what we call traditional assisted living, which is someone who just needs more physical assistance rather than cognitive. In that building, we have all the amenities that you would expect in, in, in a brand new premier retirement community. So we have a pool, uh, heated obviously, jacuzzi, we have a full spa that is going to have um, your pedicure, manicure stations, massage, and, and, and all of the, those things. There's a full restaurant in bistro in the, in the main lobby in the first floor, as well as restaurants and, and recreation and dining space above. What I like to tell our staff is that what we're trying to do here in Medway, it's retirement living reimagined. And as an example, in our assisted living, I was taking our, some of our staff for a tour of the building last week, and I said, this is where the game room is gonna be. And the game room is in assisted living. And they said to me, why would you put the game room in assisted living, thinking that that's for the independent residents? And I said, no, 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 that's for the families who come to visit their mother or father in assisted living. So we're trying to create opportunities for socialization for amongst our, our assisted living residents. And on the independent side, we have almost two and a half miles of outdoor walking trails. We have the, um, the boat launch. We're going to have a pavilion that's separate from the main building that will allow you to host and have functions, as well as that, a medical office building on the, on the front of the property that will allow you to have access to your chronic care physicians. So let's talk a little bit more about that. So now you've mentioned the boat ramps. Um, I heard talk about a dog park. Can you talk a little bit about how you envision blending into the community of Medway? We very much view ourselves as part of any community that we're in. And, and part of that is not only being a participant. So being a participant in your chamber of commerce and being a participant in the events that, that the town hosts, but we open our doors and welcome all of those events and groups into our buildings. So the fourth floor of that building has our main dining room and the third floor is a, a, a big function room, a community space. In those spaces, we open to the community. So we're very much about bringing groups in, whether it's Mothers and Me or, or the Cub Scouts or whatever your local groups are that need meeting space, and we do it at no charge because we just try and be part of the community. On the, on the kind of commerce and business side, we've already developed a relationship with the local food bank here. Um, we're trying to work with local produce um, and farmers on farm to table options for our, our, our menu of um, dining services. And we generally look locally 
before we go um, beyond our own borders for some of those goods and services that we would act that we would ask for or have access to for our normal operations. Interesting. So in preparing for the interview today, I took a look at your website and I couldn't help but be taken back by the amount of job opportunities that are seen to come, are gonna be available to the town of Medway and the surrounding communities. Can you talk a little bit to that? Sure, the, the community itself, when we're all done, is going to employ about 200 people. Uh, that's full part-time in, in per diem. And, and it's all different kinds of, um, care and service levels, right? Because we need people for maintenance. We need people for housekeeping. We, we need people in the, 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 the dining services, as well as the, the, the individual um, relationship related roles, whether it's going to be a personal care assistant for, for caregiving, a nurse, a supervisor. So w the, what we offer in terms of opportunity is very wide ranging. It's not just a narrow healthcare bin. In addition to that, I, I think it's important for the people of Medway in, to, to know that we don't necessarily, for lack of a better term, discriminate based on the resume. And so what we're looking for are talented, creative, and committed people, rather than someone that has the exact experience to, that, that, that fits in the box. Uh, historically in our organization, we've done a good job of bringing good, committed, creative people into the organization and then finding a place where they work and then promoting them from within. And so that's what we hope to, to, to continue to do or replicate in, in Medway is this idea that we're just taking the best people available and then letting them grow and develop within our programming. Oh, well, great. Well, thank you so much for sitting here and sharing all this valuable information with me. Um, we really appreciate in having the comfort in knowing that we now have this valuable resource available to all of us when we need it. Thank you so much.